Hello and welcome. Today I will show you how to connect your monitor to your laptop and get a secondary display. Uh, the first thing is you need an HDMI port on your laptop. Most of the laptops today, they already come with built-in HDMI port. Up to last five or six years, I think this is the laptop's standard. If you have some very, very old laptop, they would usually have VGA port and then you would need a VGA cable but also the picture wouldn't be as good as with HDMI cable. So what's the advantage of HDMI cable? HDMI, HDMI cable can support resolutions up to 4K and can transfer both sound and picture, which is very convenient. So if your monitor or your TV has built-in speakers, you will hear the sound that your laptop produces on your secondary display. Okay, so we have HDMI port here and we have HDMI cable already connected to the monitor. I will show you uh, just up close an HDMI cable. So this is the same thing, just different design. You need standard size, standard HDMI cable, both ends the same and you're good to go. So let's connect the laptop and let's see what will happen next. Okay, once we connect, we can see the screen blinks and that will happen all, every time you connect, disconnect or change the display modes on your laptop. So let's power on the monitor now. As we can see, we have exactly same screen on the large monitor, on the secondary display as on the primary on the laptop. And if I move the cursor, it's the same. The icons are the same. Everything I do, it's the same. So this mode is called duplicate. And usually this is by default the mode that you will get when you first time connect external screen to your laptop. Okay, so there are three other modes as well, four in total. And you can see them and change between them by activating this help screen on the right side by pressing Windows key and P at the same time. So, once again, Windows key and P at the same time. You can press Windows key first, but then just half a second later, P, and it will still activate this option. Okay, so duplicate is already selected, as you can see. Now, we can go up and it's PC screen only. Why is this option useful? For example, you were using both screens, but now you need to use only your laptop screen and then you don't need to unplug the HDMI cable. You can leave it plugged in for later, just switch on to PC screen only, and there's no picture on the big screen anymore. Okay, let's go down to the duplicate. This is the one that we were using. You want everything the same. You need it on, on two screens. This is your option. Now let's go to the option number three and it's extend. Extend is what most of the people use. And this is very, very useful option. Why? Well, first of all, it makes these two monitors, these two displays work as one. And I will show you. So let's go to display settings and we have number one and number two. Now, if I move my cursor on the laptop, if I move it left, up or down, there's no way it will go anywhere. But if I move it to the right, here we are on the big screen. So this is extension of this screen. And why is this useful? Well, it's useful because you can do one kind of work on your laptop's primary screen, and then you can do something else on your secondary screen. Or for example, if you have a lot of icons on your desktop, you can just move them and place them here. You can also bring them back the same way. So for example, if I open internet browser and then I go on YouTube and play something, this thing, I can play it only on the secondary screen and use my primary screen for some other kind of work. So let's see. And now just hold your browser window and pull it to the right. Here it is. Bring it back, pull it to the right. Okay, now I can open it, I can make it full screen and for example, you have some presentation, you can play it on the secondary screen while you do some other work on your primary screen on your laptop. Okay, now the thing is, 
if you leave it as it is and you close the browser and then you open it again on your laptop it will always open on your secondary screen so this is quite good feature so remember that if you want to use it on your primary screen you have to bring it back to your primary screen okay so you need to remember that for example very convenient option is again uh, using the extended mode some of the people some professionals especially they like to use the secondary screen uh, positioned vertically so this now is horizontal way but we can also especially certain screens uh, they have adjusting mounts and stands and we can turn them vertically so here we go to the options and we can choose now it's landscape but if I choose portrait here we have it okay on our laptop but if I choose number two, okay, I've selected the screen number two. So everything that I do now in these options will affect the secondary screen. If I want to change resolution, it will be changed on the secondary screen. So I want to change display orientation. It's landscape. I will choose portrait and here we have it. You can see now that the icons are on this side. So if this screen was in vertical position, we would have a perfect portrait mode. And this is quite, quite useful. Okay, now a very interesting option with extended screens is the next one. So we go again, right click, display settings. You can move them any way you want. So if my laptop is on the right side and the monitor is on the left, we just grab display number two, push it here and leave it. You go apply and now on the left side, we will have the big screen, the monitor. On the right, it will be laptop's display. But I don't need it, so I will go cancel. But I will show you something more interesting than this. So I can put my secondary display on top of the first one. And I will click apply. So let's try and go cursor to the left. No, not possible. Right, no, down, no, but up, yes. So you can position, for example, the screens one on top of the other. And then you can use them as what we used before. So I can now open my browser and if I push it up, here it is. Bring it down, it's down. And to the last option, second screen only. So this is the fourth mode that we have from that right side menu. And we will choose it now because we don't need the primary screen anymore. So again, Windows and P keys and let's select second screen only. So, for example, you want to watch a movie and you don't need the primary screen anymore. There's no need for primary screen to be on. By this, we save some energy and you can enjoy movie on your big screen. So this is the easy way. And let's go back now to the duplicate option. The first one, when you connect the laptop. Again, we are now seeing two identical screens, whatever you see on the primary screen, you will see on the secondary, whatever you do on the primary screen, the same effect will be on the secondary. Okay, so uh, I hope this video helped you uh, with your secondary display settings. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hopefully I will see you again. All the best.